तो हेलो गाइस सुरे वी आर गोइंग टू इंश्योर दी एन वी ग्राफिक अलॉन्ग विद दी एन बी डिजाइन ग्राफिक एंड ऑल्सो दी डी एल एस एस मॉड ऑल ऑफ दी ग्राफिक मॉड आर ऑफ लेटेस्ट वर्जन एंड आई विल ड्रॉप द लिंक ऑन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो मेक श्योर चेक इट आउट फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू इंश्योर दी एन वी ग्राफिक मॉड एंड दिस इज दी ग्राफिक मॉड ओवर हियर सो नाउ स्टार्ट ओपन आई वी एंड क्लिक ओवर हियर एंड मेक श्योर सेलेक्ट दी पार्ट बाई ऑन जिप दिस मॉड एंड फ्रॉम हियर सेलेक्ट दी पार्ट वन क्लिक ऑन ओपन इंस्टॉल so we are successful in show the part 1 the same goes for the part 2 okay now select the part 2 open mods folder install so now we are ensure the main packages let's go for the addons now go into optional addons from here bright and see lights select the oiv click on install mods folder and then install now we are going for the parallax sort now select the file over here click on open install mods folder install Now we are going for the volumetric cloud. Okay, same procedure. Select the OIV file, click on Install Mods folder, and then install. Over here, high quality reflection. Make sure you install this mod too. This is a good one over here. And this go into your games folder. Here, extra vegetation. Install this mod too. Volumetric headlight. Select this file too, and click on Install Games folder. Install. white sheet lights select this file and make sure you install this too it's up to you okay if you want to install this or not the northern lights make sure to install this this is a good one the game config which is the important file over here if you don't install this there might be a possibility that your game might crash okay make sure you install the game config so that's all we have installed the addon file now we are going for the reshade of the nve from here select all the file and drag and drop this into your gta file directory so we have successfully installed the nve graphic mod now let's go for the nb design so this is the nb visual ultimate file and it is of latest version so all they are oiv but before we install select the installer file and the procedure file and make sure you unzip it okay unzip the file you can also use the winzar okay to extract this file So this is the NB Visual Installer. Now go inside that, and from here open this SMD.XML file. So you can see these are the main files over here: NB Visual, Remake Top, and the Remake Map. Okay. So now go into your Content folder, and you will see here lots of folder. For that, you need to go over here, and from here NB Visual section, you need to check this file. Okay. The number which ends D48 that belongs to the NB Visual file. Okay. Now you need to check the D four eight over here. See, this is the D four eight, which means this is the NB Visual folder. Now copy this NB Visual line and go into here and make sure paste it. So this is the NB Visual folder. The same goes for the remake map. It ends with the D seven nine and D seven nine. This is it. Now select this name, remake map, and make sure you paste it over here. So this is the remake map folder. Now the remake props. Copy this name and this end with. Seven one five, okay. Seven one five. So here is the folder. Now paste it. So these three are the main folders. Now open your GTA Five directory and from here mods folder, update sixty four DLC pack. Select remake map and the remake props folder and make sure drag and drop this over here. Now go into open IV mods folder, update update the RPF comma data. Click on edit mode. Now go into a DLC list. Make sure open it as edit. We need to add some lines over here. So from here, just copy the above line and now paste it over here. From here, select the remake map dot line. Okay. Make sure select this folder and we are going to paste it over here. The same goes for the remake props. Select this line and now paste it over here and then click on save. So now the remaining is the NB visual. For that. Now again, start your Open IV. Now we are going to open this DLC dot RPF file. For that, click on File. Now here, open Archive, and from here, select the part. Okay. Now paste the selector part over here, and then click Enter. Here is the DLC dot RPF. Open it. Now go inside the 64. See. Now onto this folder. Okay. Now just over here, make sure you create a folder and name it anything. Okay. Go inside that folder. From here, select all the file and drag and drop this over here. Now again, from this folder, select all the file and drag and drop this over here. We are extracting files from here, and then we are going to drop this file into your NV vegetation folder. Copy and replace. Now again, come back here, go into this folder, select all the file and drag and drop this over here. 
So now we have successfully extract all the files from here. Now close all the archives. Now go into your mods folder, update 64 DLC pack and find the ND vegetation over here. Here is the folder. Go inside that DLC will appear 64 vegetation props. Now from here select all the files okay which we have extracted now drag and drop this all over here so now we have merging the nv vegetation with the nv visual vegetation okay so we have successfully done it you can also see there are 1000 items right now so we have successfully ensure all three folders now we are going for the nv visual vegetation procedure now go inside the folder again open the assembly.xml file and now you can see there are two folders over here now go into your content folder and again there are two folder we are going to follow the same procedure the first one is v underscore proc1 and it belongs to 031 the folder which ends with 031 over here it is now from here select the folder name v underscore proc1 file select that name and make sure you paste it over here the same goes for this too v underscore trees select that line and make sure you paste it over here now go into this folder and again there is the .rpf file so again we are going to extract the files from this rpf file for that go into your file open archive now from here we are going to select the part and then we are going to paste it over here and click enter here is the proc1.rpf file make sure you open it so these are the files over here so again here make a new folder and name anything you want now go inside the folder and from here select all the file and drag and drop this over here. So we are done with it. Now go into your file and then close archives. Okay. Make sure you close all the archives. Now again go into your mods folder, update 64 DLC pack and now select the NV underscore vegetation folder. DLC dot RPF 64. Now open the RPF file from here. Select all the file and make sure you drag and drop this over here. See, we have ensured this too. The same goes for the v underscore trees folder. Again, go into the folder. It is also the .rpf file. And for that, again, we have to click on file, open archives. From here, select the part. Make sure you copy paste over here. Click enter. Now select this rpf file. Open and see. These are the files over here. Now select all the files from here. And from here, again, create a folder and name it anything you want. Go into that folder. And from here drag and drop this over here. Now close this archive. Again go into your mods folder. Update 64 DLC pack. Vegetation folder. Here. Here. Props file. And now select all the file. And make sure you drag and drop this over here. So that's all folks. We have successfully installed the NB vegetation mods. Okay. So now before we install the graphic mod. So now before we install the DLSS mod. Open your GTA 5 game. Now go on to the settings over here graphics. Then we have to disable these two options. Okay. One is FXAA and the MSAA. Make sure you disable it. Then click on apply and then exit the game. Now we are going to ensure the DLS is small. So these are the file. From here select both the ASR file and drag and drop into your GTA 5 directory and make sure you replace it. Now go into your mods folder and from your mods folder to select all the files over here and drag and drop this over here. After that, open NVIDIA Control Panel over the Manage 3D Settings and go on to the Program Settings. Over here, you have to select the gta5.exe file, okay? Make sure you select the file and then go on the below. Over here, Vertical Sync, make sure you enable it. This is one of the important steps too. We have to enable it, okay? And then apply and then quit, okay? So that's all folks. We have successfully installed NV Graphic Mod, NV Visual Vegetation Mod and the DLSS Mod. So now, start your game. So we are back here, guys. And as you can see, here is the NV graphic mod, the NV clouds, and here is the NV visual vegetation, the props, and here is the natural vision roads. So all are working good. Now click on insert. So this is the NV reshade. Here it is. It is also working good too, okay? And here is the DLSS mod. Now click on enable, and from here, DLSS frame generation. See? It jumped to 130, 135. So this is working guys. We have successfully installed the NV graphic mod 
along with NB Design Vegetation Mod and the DLSS Mod which we are getting around 130 plus FPS and here is the NB Visual Procedure Vegetation which is also working good so these are the Grass Mod which is working perfectly fine you guys just need to follow these steps and this mod will work efficiently so that's how you guys ensure all three of this mod and if you have any query and you get any error let me know in the comment section so that's all folks hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel till then peace out